this video will show you how to do uh, graph indicators and also how to control screen one, screen two, or screen two to screen one. So the first thing I want to do is go click on my screen and go to where it says objects. Now go to screen selectors and click on go to and put that icon at the bottom of the screen right here and double click and I want to go to screen 2 alright so now I will come over here on the left and double click on screen 2 and do the same thing add another screen selector and do a go to and let's double click on the go to icon and select screen 1 click OK you can go back and change your colors a little bit later if you want to again you can click right here click your text inner text icon and then go to format and go foreground is in white background is in blue so I'm going to change my background to black and format again if you notice this time I do not have my inner text selected so I'm just going to go straight to format this time the background color is already in blue and when I hit black it changes this right here and I'm going to leave it like this right now um, now I want to show you how to add the two graphs well, that's going to be in screen 2 so double click the screen 2 go to objects and go to graph indicators and we're going to do a bar graph right here and also we're going to do a gauge graph okay your gauge is going to represent your valve and your bar is going to represent your tank <coughs> Double click on your bar graph and what you want to do, the tag sheet that your instructor gives you should have a minimal and max range. So for my bar graph, it happens to be 16383 for a max. Read tag, that's going to be the actual water level. Okay, edit tag, everything is already displayed like it's supposed to. Your data entry limits, you can leave it as default, but I like to change that to my max also. Click OK, click OK. Now let's do the gauge. Over here you want to read tag to the bottom, and this is going to be my valve right here and the minimum max for the valve happens to be 0 to 16383 my angle happens to be how far does the circle go back this is negative 135 all the way to positive 135 so if I change this you should see that go up a little bit same thing with this one as you can see this and what this will do this will allow us to put a text right below this graph below this gauge to indicate open or close <coughs> once you select this click OK you can also change your thicknesses you can go to from 5 go to 2 if you notice your needle got thinner which I kind of like that major text is how many of these you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then 11 right here I'm going to leave that as is minor text you could have 5 for example click OK and now you put 5 per major so I'm going to just put 1 
and it looks like this but this is just optional right here click OK <laughs> now I want to insert a text inside this box so click the um, icon again now select your inner text now over here in this box type in the words open space close as if you notice I can push space and it causes this to open or open apart hit this puts it in the middle and that one puts it on the bottom so now I have a gauge that reads open on the left close on the right and you can go back and change your colors just like you did with the previous objects double click right here and go to format it's the easiest way to change colors on these go to format uh, foreground color is white background color is blue and we'll change it to black for example and I want to make this since it's going to indicate water I'm just going to do a light blue go back to format go to foreground color is white so I'm going to change it to a light um, cayenne just like this and I'm going to do the same thing with the gauge and oops I need to do format instead foreground color is white which is the letters and the background color is I'm going to change it to black and also want to do the text so hit enter text now if I go to format I, my background color represents my text so I'm going to change that to black to make it match the background object now I can leave this as a square or I can make this as a circle if you click right here go to format go to shape change it to a circle and there you have just nothing but a circle that's just your uh, your preference on that I'm going to leave it as a square and that should be everything right here and again you can always go back and play with your different colors and I'm going to click right here do formats and go to foreground color and go with a light green just to give you a little little contrast and that should do this the next video I'm going to show you how to do data entry and numeric data displays